And the enforcement directorate has prayed for 14 days of police custody for Manik Bhattacharya in the SSC scam. You'd remember that hearing happening at the High Court. Uh, it's also been told to the court that when the TMC MLA was confronted with bank statements and evidence, his replies were evasive. So on the expected lines, the agency has told the court uh, that the accused is not cooperating. My colleague Kamalika will join us on the broadcast and give us more details. Uh, Kamalika, give us more updates. See, ED has prayed for 14 days of PC and the arguments which ED is placing before the court is number one, it is the ED is stating that a cure cons consultancy which had an agreement with Bengal Teachers Training Association, the proprietor of this Acure cons consultancy is Manik Bhattacharya's son. And there is like 2.64 crores have been in invested there. That is channeled from education institutions and re-channeled back to the son's proprietorship firm. So his son's proprietorship firm is in question and that has to do dealings with this SSC scam. That's what ED feels and there more questioning of Manik Bhattacharya is required. Secondly, the bank statement, his bank statement, his, uh, the way he has replied uh, to various questions, he has evaded various questions. So there more uh, interrogation is required. That's what ED feels. Along with that, they are saying that they have recovered two folders and 61, where 61 candidates' uh, name was there. Uh, their uh, illegal gratification of their appointments was given there. So it is clearly proved that the uh, was into uh, he was into all these things. And obviously, the case is not just about criminal or proceeds of crime, but it is about the future of the state. That's what the ED is saying, and also in his call records, also there are certain uh, indications which leads to uh, more questions to him. That is what is required. That's what ED says because there are some court names in his WhatsApp chat. Hmm. Who are those courts who used to give him direction? Hmm. That you know, all these things ED is praying in front of the court, and they are saying hmm. that for all these things, more interrogation of this person is required and that's why 14 days PC is required. Kamalika, tell us a little bit more about the circumstances under which he was arrested and what exactly is this overall education scam that we're talking about? See, he was the, uh, he was the chief of primary education board. Now, uh, this, uh, this is the entire education system scam where both CBI and ED is in, uh, investigating. Now, in this SSC scam, we have seen what happened that uh, in every year, in every segment, you know, starting from primary to higher secondary, there were a lot of candidates who applied for and a lot of eligible candidates were not given in job. That's what the allegation is. They did not got the job, but people who gave man money through back door, yeah. they they got the job, and you know yeah. uh, they went to court, and then court gave this or uh, every investigation to CBI and ED. There, this Partha Chatterjee's uh, huge uh, money uh, came out from Partha Chatterjee's AIDS residence. Or Pita now Manik Bhattacharya is one of the key person in this because he was the former uh, chief of this primary education system. Yesterday he was interrogated. He was being called a couple of times. He has uh, lookout notice was against him. Yesterday, whole night, he, uh, from afternoon, he has been interrogated, and at night, one of one p.m., uh, one a.m., he was um, arrested. But the thing is that that he got some protection from the Supreme Court. Yeah. Uh, but that is in the CBI case, so he did not yeah. wanted to sign the arrest memo. There also, there were some legal things, but um, ED is now uh, pray, praying for his 14 days uh, custody badly. All right, Kamalika, thank you so much for getting us all the details on that important story.